Hello, uh, it's me Anirudh here and today I'm going to talk about the guppy fish, uh, their importance, how to take care of them and how to grow from fry to adult. Uh, there are a few tips which I really wanted to share with you guys regarding how to manage with this guppy breeding as well as how to take care of these baby fries and to uh, keep this aquarium clean as well as how to maintain it so i will start with uh, the steps and tricks for this so basically guppy fish are also known as uh, rainbow fish or million fish and they are largely found uh, into uh, tropical region as well as they are also known as tropical breeding fishes and they are uh, widely distributed throughout the world there are many varieties of guppy fishes and yes it is uh, not very much hard to keep these guppies into tank but yes to stop the breeding of them it's quite difficult because they breed a lot and because of this thing uh, one a female gets around 25 to 30 fishes of fries at single time so they refuse the fries like every two to three months and because of this thing uh, you can earn a lot with this also by selling out the guppy fish but it's uh, uh, not really hard so there are some t- tips so first would be like uh, the main reason why fishes die is the stress the stress they the tank uh, is located near aqua- uh, the t- television set or if there is any noise noise or noise making medium near to the aquarium or banging up the glass at that time the fish get stressed and they and that can be one reason why fishes hide and sometimes it leads to death the second reason is uh, the second reason to avoid this death is to keep the stones as well as there are many stones available like lava rock there are like pumice stones and it can uh, it is uh, helpful for creating the beneficial bacteria also but apart from it it is helpful for hiding places for this fries uh, because many fries they try to hide at initially uh, because because of this community tank they they are afraid of uh, large fishes so uh, keeping the artificial plants or live plants is really important in aquarium at that time or i would like to suggest you that separate the fries from adult fishes because uh, when you put the food into the tank at that time the adult fishes start to eat that food immediately as soon as you put it but these fries are at the bottom of that uh, bottom of the aquarium and they won't get that much of food and right now this is the main time in which you have to feed these fries and make them grow so at that time if you are not they are not getting enough proteins so separating out this entire fries from that adult tank and feeding them two to three times is essential uh, feeding proper time like uh, in proper proper manner is really important because one thing I have noticed that uh, there are fries but many people they try to give them food a lot so that they can uh, start growing and guppies are mostly like 3 inches maximum they won't uh, like they won't exceed than that so basically the fries like female uh, the female guppies are large compar- uh, large in size comparatively uh, compared to this uh, male male fishes and apart from this uh, feeding them two to three times is essential at the young age of the fries in between uh, at the starting of the two months uh, you can give in you can give them the egg yolk as well as boiled broccoli boiled peas but one thing make sure that these all uh, broccoli and peas are boiled properly and crush them so cleanly that they won't get any outside 
a slash of that broccoli or else peas so that they can eat it properly so make sure that you peel off the outer part of that peas and then smash the in, smash with the uh, salt and mix it and then give them uh, it is quite uh, necessary for them for the health health of that uh, pea fish and uh, you can give them uh, if some salt and like twice a toy uh, like once a week or else like you can also give them uh, this uh, if some salt like uh, any day after like once 15 day or 20 day and apart from it uh, they like to live in large spaces because this fries they are like quick fast and if the tank is small they won't uh, they won't grow that much and because of this thing uh, the the next generation of that guppy fishes are are not at that much attractive so the tank size should be maximum around two feet and it it looks beautiful believe me it looks beautiful there are many types of uh, breeders who are making beautiful guppies like there are koi guppies they are fancy guppies in this tank i have created the cross breed of fancy as well as koi guppies and right now you can see that the face of that guppies are orange they are slowly turning into orange the, the fins of that are fancy that is blue red or yellow and the body is like white so basically these three shades of uh, color contrast makes them beautiful and the next thing comes to temperature this role this temperature plays an important role in every field in every aquarium uh, industry because without temperature the fish won't survive there are many categories of fish like a uh, cold 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 uh, water fish like medium temperature fishes which like cold are like uh, the goldfish needs cold water uh, the angel fish survives in medium like 25 to 30 degree celsius range of water uh, and yeah this the guppy requires around 74 to 82 degree fahrenheit of uh, temperature and uh, and apart from this uh, heater heater that is heater is required a good amount good proper uh, authorized heaters are essential in aquarium because one thing that if you buy an heater like cheap quality heaters are there available in the market if you put them it can la last long around 5 to 10 years also that's not the matter but if anything goes wrong the entire heater can blast over in the tank i've seen such cases the there was a crack in the heater and and i didn't realize that the heater is wrong or something but the fish started to swim up and down it was not behaving properly and then i touched the tank why he is not behaving properly i realized the tank what the tank was so hot and i put my hand into it and then i realized that the heater the glass of that heater broke down and simply the range was exceeding continuous and it took place in my friend's house so that time i realized that this glass heaters are not uh, are not that much efficient so yeah uh, taking the proper heater is uh, good for long term apart from this uh, so right now we have covered the temp heater part temperature part food part uh, food in the food part uh, i would like to tell you the tetra bits as well as tetra bits for tropical fishes like angel fish guppy fish that the tetra bits is quite good i am feeding them i'm giving them the food this tetra bits the hikari hikari is also excellent quality food and apart from it if you need a, uh, if you are a breeder or if you need more, more if you want to take more fishes with you and continuously breed these guppies then i suggest you go for optimum uh, like one kg it comes around uh, 300 rupees and yeah uh, apart from it uh, the filter plays an important role the filter there are many types of filter in this industry aquarium but for price 
I would like to suggest you that sponge filter is the best filter ever because it keeps the bacteria alive. The bacteria gets stuck into that and the oxygen is also provided so that the bacteria uh, is present on, in the sponge. There is a good source of oxygen continuously mm. supplied with the help of aerated stone. And yes, uh, this sponge also uh, cleans the water water of the tank. And yes, the if you put this uh, top filter or top filter, that is also a good one. But the pressure is uh, you just need to think of that pressure adjustment because if the suction takes place, all the fries would be sucked into that sponge and they would die. And Changing of water is required every one week and hence the, the, the water pH should be maintained at any cost because the fishes can't survive if the pH goes high and the main reason for increasing pH is ammonia level. Uh, as, as you put the food, they poop out a lot and the pH increases, the ammonia, ammonia level increases. And if the filtration is not good, the pH level goes on increasing and you get a cloudy aquarium, the green algae aquarium. And yeah, the fishes won't survive, that the beauty is consistently poor at that time. So these all are the factors which play, which keeps our guppy fishes good. And not for only guppy fishes, but for any fish, this, this uh, tips can be beneficial. Yes, uh, thank you very much.